Hello, it is Foundation Friday, December 1st, 2023. Steve Cypress here at the very, very tail end of another gorgeous sunset here in the Phoenix Scottsdale, Arizona area. And today we have another in our multi-part series on the fantastic foundational book, 2,239 Tested Secrets for Direct Marketing Success by the great Denny Hatch, compiling over 2,000 time-tested secrets of marketing success, and these are still as true as when they were compiled decades ago. They're still that true today. Today, we're gonna to share one from the great direct marketer and genius marketer in the DMA Hall of Fame, Dick Benson, who is uh, well known for being the best of all time about building subscriber lists, taking tiny publications from a few hundred subscribers to hundreds of thousands of subscribers in record time and doing it over and over again. And he put uh, his secrets of how he did it into his book. Um, I think it was Secrets of Direct Mail Success or something like that. Get yourself a copy if you can. Understand it's written a long time ago and it's a technically about selling magazine and newsletter subscriptions. But I, uh, I assure you, the principles he shares in there are timeless and they apply online, offline, to all different industries. And I'll give you one example here from this great book compiled by Denny Hatch. Dick Benson says for magazines, and again, I say it's for everything, and I'm going to prove it to you with a few examples, or at least give you a few examples. You decide if it's a uh, proof or not. For magazines, a soft offer such as try a complimentary copy at our risk, is better than a hard offer, which is cash or a bill me, pay in advance. And so uh, this is, again, a time-tested principle that the soft offer, the free offer, the free sample offer. So a few examples here. If you're a fan of Costco, as I am, we love Costco, you know that there's pallets and pallets full of boxes and boxes of nondescript whatever type of cracker they have on there just sitting there and once in a while somebody will come up and buy a box of them it'll take a while to move the pallet but eventually they will and people like the crackers however if you go in there on the day when the ladies are there with the hair nets and they're given the free samples and they have to be given a free sample of that cracker and telling you how good it is along with a free sample of whatever cheese or topping is on the cracker, they will move two or three pallets of those crackers in a few hours because people get to sample the cracker. And then they say, wow, this is good. I th or, you know, if they say bad, they move on. If they say this is good, hey, honey, let's, let's might as well try those. And then guess what? Every month or two or whatever, they're coming back to refill and buying another and another. So they don't just sell two or three pallets of crackers by giving out that one sample, they sell dozens and dozens, hundreds and hundreds of pallets, and that goes on in all the Costco locations all over, and that goes on in bakeries all across America. If you walk into a bakery, any bakery worth anything that knows what they're doing, and you walk in and you go, hmm, that vanilla cookie over there, is that kind of, you know, French vanilla, regular vanilla, you know, kind of what does it taste like? They're not going to be ridiculous enough to sit there and try and sell you a cookie and, and describe how it tastes and explain the ingredients. They're just going to say, here, try a sample. Boom. And then you like it. You say, yeah, give me a couple of dozen of those. Hey, what about this one over here? Let me try that. Give me a couple of dozen of those. And again, you'll go back every couple of weeks or every few weeks or every week or whatever and buy another dozen of those another couple of dozen of those so one little sample piece they only have to give you the whole cookie they give you a little piece of the cookie you know in an ice cream parlor same thing they got 42 flavors baskin robbins 31 flavors whatever and you say oh that mint swirl pecan whatever the heck um gee i've never had that before is that good uh again you don't want the person behind the counter to sit there and, oh, well, because it's made here and it's got these ingredients and I think it's good and here's what... They take out that little sample spoon, that tiny little piece where they go, here, try it yourself. And you go, hmm, wow, that is good. Give me that. Give me a quart of that. Give me this or that. Give me two cones and this and you'll come back over and over and buy that. So that's what Dick Benson is talking about here, the soft offer. Try the free sample at our risk. In the case of a newsletter or magazine, we will mail it to you. We have to print it up. We have to mail it. We have to pay for the postage and, and get it to you. And if you don't like it, you don't pay. And if you do, 
then you pay. I just told you about an example of works in Costco. That's not a magazine. That's a cracker, a cheese, and anything at all that they're giving that free sample, anything in the bakery. I can tell you that I uh, recently partnered with a company that we do, uh, the company builds automated robots that automate boring, repetitive tasks for businesses. In fact, the name of the company is Automate Boring. Go figure. So we take the boring, repetitive, and often mistake-filled, time-taking tasks, and we have robots performing them around the clock, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So now the human beings that were previously performing those tasks for the business get to do higher level stuff that can make more money for the business. They'll enjoy their job more. They'll stay longer. They'll be satisfied with their work instead of bored out of their mind. And there won't be mistakes like we hear all the time. Oh, you know, they do this and he has to do this, but once in a while they forget to cut and paste this or they leave this out or they didn't do this. And so there's mistakes and that costs us money and time. And then we got to apologize for our client. Man, we would love to have that whole thing automated. So we automate uh, taking, reading emails. Uh, putting out bids, put a, bidding on contracts, putting out estimates, uh, ordering supplies, uh, all kinds of the operational, boring, repetitive tasks are automated. But anyway, what's the irresistible offer we came up with? I happen to think it's brilliant. So far, every one of the prospects we talk to goes, well, gee, I'll give that a shot. It's uh, a $1 30-day trial. So we will build as many robots as you want to automate as many boring tasks as you want. And we'll do that for 30 days and you run these and you experience the difference and how it's done better, faster, cheaper. Your employers are happier. They're doing higher level stuff for you. Your company is doing better, making more money. And only then, if you're not happy, we'll take it all down. And you can go back to the way you were doing it or find out another way to do it or hire more people or whatever you want to do. But if you want it, then at the end of the 30 days, then you pay the setup fee, and then you start to pay the monthly fee, but only after the 30-day $1 trial. So that's soft offer. So that means the people selling it, instead of we have to convince them of a concept that they, they can't even believe, it sounds too good to be true, you'll automate all the boring, repetitive tasks that are sometimes not done at all or sometimes done wrong, all the reporting, all the this, all the that, automated so that I don't have to pay humans to do it anymore. These machines will do it, freeing up the humans I have to love their job and do something better with their time. This sounds great. I don't really get it. What about that? You know what? What would you like? What Name a boring, repetitive task you would like automated. Great. We'll automate that for a dollar. Name another one. Same dollar. We'll automate that. We'll automate 10 Boring, repetitive tasks. Take them off your employees' hands for $1 and we'll run them for 30 days. So all the work, all the risk is on us. If you don't like it, we go our separate ways. We, we part as friends, right? Soft offer, irresistible offer. That's the middle letter of the wow strategy. The irresistible offer, the O. The first W stands for the who. Who do you make that irresistible offer to? You got to know what they like, what they don't like, all about them. You got to know who they are so you can make that offer to them. And then the last W of the wow strategy, the word wow, is the ways. The ways you're going to use to get that irresistible offer in front of that ideal target who. And that could be through advertising, marketing, social media posts, social media ads, social media groups, this, that, whatever, hundreds and hundreds of ways. So W-O-W, the wow strategy. The middle O is what we're talking about here, the irresistible offer and a soft offer. As Dick Benson, in his experience, talked about magazines or newsletter subscriptions. But I'm telling you, and I could go on and on, and I could find examples for you in just about every single industry and somebody doing it right, I could find it in every industry. For people that don't get it, that have stagnant businesses, or they're among the 90% of businesses that go out of business, they'll push back and all this, oh, I don't, I don't wanna, can't give it away free. People will take advantage of it. It's not going to, uh, blah, 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 blah. You can find all kinds of failures uh, saying no to all kinds of brilliant marketing and advertising ideas. I do hear that every single day, but the few that get it are the few that profit massively. So pay attention to what Dick Benson says and pay attention to the other 2,238 tested secrets for direct marketing, and I say for marketing or advertising of any kind, success in the great book compiled by Denny Hatch, 2,239 tested secrets for direct marketing success.
which we will continue. I'm not going to go through all 2,239 of them. That would take however many years that would take. But I'll have another one for you next Foundation Friday. And I'll be back tomorrow with some more business building tips for you on Social Media Saturday. Thanks for being here today. And until tomorrow, over and out. Bye-bye.